right, welcome to a personal smoke break tonight. <coughs> <coughs> We've got some good stuff here today. <coughs> this one's going out to PHX Bourbon, the uh, bourbon expert from Phoenix. So here we go. This is what we've got. We've got, first off, 2022 Steve Aoki Baseball Party. These cards are actually, to me, I believe these are criminally underrated. I think these are absolutely beautiful cards. Especially, I hit a one-of-one one Jonah Heim uh, gold glitter blast. Beautiful cards. Absolutely stunning to me. I love these cards. Criminally underrated to me. Maybe people just don't like Steve Aoki. I don't know. But the cards are, are really, really good looking. This right here is Wave 1. We've also got the same thing. 2022. Oh, it's on the top this time. Wave 2. So we've got Wave 1 and Wave 2 in whichever order you prefer. And we've got this one. This is an awesome one. I cannot believe. I looked up. I haven't looked at this in a while because I haven't opened any of these in a while. But I looked up the price of these, and good lord, these boxes are going for like $200. There's no way I'm going to charge that much when I did not pay that much for them. Uh, maybe like, you know, if it was a, a non-kind of buddy thing and I was selling it on eBay, sure, maybe then. But but no, I cannot sell these for $200. But we do have this one. This is an awesome box. This one has been much better than any other previous year of uh, black and white, I think, my personal opinion. Uh, I like them a lot. So 2023 black and white, very, very cool. Yeah, black and white is awesome. I have, uh, I think, two more boxes of them. Um, I know there's some online exclusive stuff that comes out next week. I love the online exclusive things like black and white, like Steve Aoki, like uh, Bob Ross, all of that stuff. I love the online exclusive. So I'm definitely going to try and get some of those next week. I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday they come out. They're like an artist kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I'm planning to do like an online exclusive breaks again. You know, whenever I get those boxes, I'll add a whole bunch of other things in there too. So very cool. I love these. Yeah. Black and white. Very cool. And like I said, Steve Aoki, criminally underrated. So I'm going to do these three for PHX. Like I said a, a, a couple seconds ago, PHX got me in the mood and I have this. This is a really wild one. This is the only uh, soccer Bowman set that I know of. And this is from 2020. 2020 MLS Bowman. These boxes were $10 when they came out. $10. Check now. $175 bucks on Steel City. You can probably get them for maybe $140, $150 at certain places. But these are crazy boxes. A lot of good stuff. Uh, PT Soccer, I saw that you were here. If you saw, if you're still here, you probably know about these. But very cool. Lots of good stuff to chase in these Bowmans. And uh, I'm going to open one of these for myself. I have probably about, I don't know, a dozen or so of these. So if I open up one, it's not, not going to kill me, but very cool stuff. The only Bowman soccer set that I know of. Hoping for, let's see, who's in here? There is Brendan Aronson. He's a big name that you'd be looking for. Um, what is her name? She grew up in Diamond Bar right by me. I can't remember her name. Alex, uh, Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan is in here, so that would be an excellent one to pull. And there's even autographs and stuff in here, too. I believe my son, ironically enough, pulled a, pulled an autograph out of here before. So let's see what we got. Put that over there. First one, Ezekiel Barco. Very cool, Ezekiel Barco. Didn't quite uh, live up to all his expectations when he was in Atlanta. Here we go. There's a rookie. George Campbell. Okay, not the one that we're looking for. Here's a rookie. Christian Caceres Jr. Doesn't look like we have any parallels in here. I'm not seeing any color. There's a rookie. Mattia, uh, Matias Pellegrini. Jeez, forget that uh, Miami has been around that long. Chris Garcia. Albert Rusnak. There's a good one. Not a rookie, though. But definitely a high-quality player. Paxton Pomacall. There's a nice one. That's a pretty good one. You got it, PHX. That's the order we'll go in. 
Alejandro Pozuelo. Aiden Morris, that's a big card. This guy just got a big move to, uh, oh, geez, I forgot, Belgium maybe? Big move, though. Aiden Morris, that's a nice card. And last one, Brandon Cervania. So I'm glad I didn't try and sell this one because that one uh, did not have what we're looking for, but fun nonetheless. Oh, no, we could do, we'll do your order. So here we go, Steve Aoki. Let me get this box out of the way real quick. But yeah, we got our Steve Aoki. We'll do that one first. This is wave one. I don't remember the checklists. I didn't have time to look at them. But uh, like I said, no matter what, the cards that come out of here, these are great, great looking cards. That's why I feel like these sets are very, very underrated. Noop Nup. Hey, check this out. Noop Nup. What, do I have it here? This is what I was thinking. Our man Noop Nup, the 2021 guy, our, our handsome king collector, <coughs> Noop Nup, he's going to go on a budget next week. His wife is forcing him to have a, car, a card budget, which, you know, if you're married out there, you probably understand. But this is what I'm thinking for him. Before he goes on his budget, I'm thinking about doing a 2021 Bowman's Best with four autos. And now this one's going to throw you for a loop. 2021 Select. And the reason why I chose this, number one, I had it. And number two, there is Hans, uh, Haseon Kim autographs in here to go along with all the other autographs and stuff too. But that's another two autos and two relics. And for my Haseon Kim guy, 2021 Chrome. Or not Chrome, Holiday. 2021 Holiday. So all of those, they do have Haseon Kim on them or in them. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking next. I think that's the next break I'm going to do. I'll probably post it tomorrow. But now, on to, on to the big stuff. On to the good stuff. This would be Steve Aoki. Wave 1. Even got its own special packs. I like the look of the packs. Like I said, I just can't say enough. Like, I'm really shocked that these uh, are not, not more, uh, more sought after. Especially given that uh, Ben Baller had his own chrome set and everything. And those were just... I, I mean, all they did was add a couple graphics on it. Those were not that... You know, not that great. These are much better. Patrick Wisdom. Ooh, I see we got a foil. We got something back there. All right, let's move that to the back. We got Austin Riley, Brandon Drury, Max Scherzer, Patrick Wisdom, Kenley Jansen. And here we go. What is that? Is it White Sox? Looks like White Sox to me. It looks gold, which is very good. Oh my goodness, very first pack. Eloy Jimenez, auto out of 25. Whoa. Again, beautiful cards. The only thing that kind of is a drawback is the sticker auto. But can you believe that? Very first pack, Eloy Jimenez, out of 25. Wowzers. That's awesome. I don't think it's gold, though. It must be an orange something. You know what? I'm going to put this in a thicker top loader. That's a, I could feel how tight it was right away. So I'll put that in the 55 point. But check that out. First pack. Awesome. Eloy Jimenez out of 25. Banger right off the bat. Very cool. All right. Well, there you go. Got another Brave. We got Nolan Arenado. There's another Parallel. Mike Trout. Hunter Green. That's a rookie. Matt Olson. Nolan Arenado. Ozzy Owies. Wow, there is a ton of Braves popping out of here. Next one. Ichiro out of 99. A bookend. 99 of 99. This is going well. And like I said, criminally underrated this set. And Steve Aoki in general. Even the, he has a 2020 set also. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I guess people don't like them, but I personally, I do. I like the Aokis a lot. Ichiro, 99 of 99. Very cool. 
two packs in, and I would say two bangers. What's the third pack going to bring? <laughs> Very cool. All right, we got uh, Urias, Bobby Dalbeck, Max Scherzer again, Brendan Rodgers, Matt Chapman, and Mike Yastrzemski. <laughs> well, I don't know if it'll pay for the break of those two packs, but probably the box, probably that individual box. Urias, gone, worthless, piece of trash. All right, oh, we got another parallel. I don't know how many parallels are in each box. I, like I said, I just grabbed things real quick. I looked through some boxes that I had, found some stuff. So here we go. Charlie Blackmon, Aaron Judge. That's a nice Aaron Judge. I like the way that looks. MJ Melendez, Jeff Bagwell, and Byron Buxton. All right, our parallel. Are we going to see it? Oh, this looks like a higher number. The A's. Jose Canseco out of 125, 009. So 9 of 125. That looks like it's got some kind of something. Maybe it's just a foil board, but uh, looks nice. Yeah, Urias, there's only one place his cards need to go crazy him and wander all in the same like couple month time span these guys went from being like huge collector collectible guys to just being trash just like that pierce good to see you sir you missed the good stuff so far but we're only on box one this looks like all base mckenzie gore rookie not bad Jonathan India. I, th I like Jonathan India still. I mean, I know he hasn't completely lived up to expectations, but I like Jonathan India. Seiya Suzuki. Very nice rookie there. Eric Hosmer. Liam Hendricks. And Trey Mancini on the Astros. Usually we think about him on the uh, Orioles. <coughs> That's funny. Yeah, awesome though. First box, Eloy Jimenez auto out of 25 on the very first pack. It got it has to be said though, not the best auto in the world. In fact, I'd say one of the worst. But uh it's still an autograph out of 25. The Ichiro out of 99. That is an awesome one. And the uh, Canseco out of 125. So first box, not bad at all. Wave two, here we go. Again, I love the packaging even, that it's got its own personal packs, not just like blank silver packs. Not that it makes much of a difference, but just aesthetically, it, it does kind of uh, make it appealing. All right, wave two. Here we go. Pack one. What are we going to see? Ronald Acuna right off the bat. So there's a Brave. Very nice. Matt Carpenter. George Kirby. Jesse Winker. Walker Bueller. Hopefully he can get his stuff worked out. And Andres Jimenez. Yeah, Walker Bueller, man, made his made his comeback and then just immediately just, I don't know. I, I think for him it's more mental than anything else. Coming off of two Tommy Johns, so much time off. I mean, that's got to mess with your head. It's got to, ooh, there's a green, it looks like, a green parallel. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll take the Bueller, why not? I might have one, though. If I, if I have it, I'll, I'll double check. If I have it, then I won't keep it. You could use it for some trades or something, maybe. But if I don't have it, sure, I'll take it. Thank you. Alex Verdugo. Devin Williams. Crone Zone, Jake Cronenworth. Sean Murphy. <clears throat> Frank Schwindel. 
And this is a nice looking green already. Out of 50, Jordan Alvarez. Very cool. I like the green. I got to be honest, though. I think the gold looks the best. The gold looks the best in this set. But the green, that's pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of the uh, green grass parallel from Bowman. Jordan. Let's get a stamp. Oh, maybe put it the correct way. So out of 50, pretty low number. Alrighty. Yeah, for real. Green looks good, but the gold is the dub. I, I agree. Justin Turner. DJ LeMahieu. Tommy Edmond. Will Smith. Ozzy Smith. Oh, we got something nice back here, it looks like. Looks like an insert. There's not many inserts in here. But there is some. Here we go. Oh, boy. Ooh, Rafi Devers Bushido. The Bushido is the one you're looking for. I believe these are like uh, th these are like the equivalent of a case hit. Whoa, that's a nice one. These are not numbered, I don't think. Yeah, no numbers on these, but these are like case hits right here. Bushido, Steve Aoki, very nice. I mean, you can see the the Japanese connection. Dang, that's nice. Oh, I'm just like <laughs> getting caught up here for a second. Yeah, I'm admiring that one. That's very nice. I like that. Not a Red Sox fan, but Devers is a good player. And that's a sweet looking card. Very cool. All right, two packs to go. There we go. There's our next parallel. Stephen Kwan, rookie. Kyle Tucker. Isaac Paredes, Adrian Beltre, Shohei, very nice. Next up, what is this? Looks like a red, perhaps. Royce Lewis to 10. And it's another bookend, 10 of 10, Royce Lewis rookie. My goodness. Like I said, criminally underrated, these boxes. That is awesome. 10 of 10, Royce Lewis. Great picture, too. Wow. 10 of 10. We got a 99 of 99, Ichiro. 10 of 10, Royce Lewis. Very cool. These are like thicker cards too. They're they're right in between the the 55 point thick top loaders and the regular top loaders. So they're kind of tight in here. Oh yes, I'd Ape's going to want that one. <laughs> That's nice. 10 of 10 too. Wow. Beautiful. Like I said, Steve Aoki. 2020, 2022 he had sets in 2 years, 2020 and 2022. Now it's 2024. Maybe it's time to uh, have another one. Heck yeah. Black and white going to hit hard, hopefully. Okay. Santiago Espinal, Corbin Burns, Trevor Larnock, O'Neill Cruz, rookie. Gliber Torres, and Vidal Brujan. Very nice. Not bad at all. And uh, I kind of over, kind of just glossed over it. But let's not forget the Shohei. That Shohei alone is, I don't know, I would guess at least a $10 card or something. Just a base Shohei out of here, I would guess, based on the Aoki Japanese connection. Could have a little extra significance, a little extra value, but at this point, any Shohei is a good Shohei. So, yeah, almost skipped over that one. Very nice. So, out of those two boxes, wow. Banger after banger. And now there's this one. Here we go. <clears throat> I think the autos in these are like one every three boxes. 
So pretty good odds, relatively. But let's get a little smoke on here. We got to get the mojo going. Got to get as good luck as we can. Here we go. Yeah, PHX. After that... <coughs> After that, uh, that WBC personal that you did, you were due for something good. And this box, those boxes are good boxes. Very nice. Oh yeah. I, the, I thought the, uh, the soul series this year was awesome. You know, I thought that was just great stuff. Uh, my wife is, is half Korean. So, um, yeah, I got a little, little kind of uh, Korea connection, I guess you could say. But yeah, I was looking forward to that one a lot. I wanted to get a hat for my mother-in-law, but they sold out before I could get them. These really cool uh, Soul Series hats. But next year in Japan is going to be sick. Yeah, next year in Japan is going to be awesome. All right. Here we go. <coughs> I like <coughs> I like the format that they went with this year with black and white with the three packs rather than one big fat 30 pack, you know. One pack of 30 cards. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. I didn't I didn't even I didn't even know that he didn't get any hits, but yeah, that's, I mean, I would have expected him to want to perform, you know. Maybe it was a bit too much pressure. I don't know, Koreans are that way, that they put a lot of pressure, you know, and they, uh, they're they not afraid to judge you either. So, yeah, that's just the way Koreans are. It's all good. Shane McClanahan, first off. Pete Alonzo. Garrett Cole. Uh, David Ortiz. We've got Michael Harris, number two. Very nice rookie. Luis Robert. That's a good shot. Mike Schmidt. Do, do, do. There's another Ichiro. Classic. I'm looking at the I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at the camera on YouTube and uh the pictures here don't do it justice. In person the card looks great. It looks a lot sharper actually. Okay, next up Rookie Resolution Michael Harris. Yeah, I love it. It's it's similar to Stadium Club, but I think better. Alright, and here we go. Last one. LA Mookie Betts. That one's just a base. Oh, wait. This is a short print. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see, but yeah. This is a short print. Very nice. Yeah, each pack has a uh, short print, a uh, a numbered parallel, or an autograph. So, definitely short print Mookie Betts. Very cool. Adley, rookie. Love that one. I've seen this one a couple times. Pulled this a couple times, and that's a great card. I love that one. Nolan Jones, another rookie. Nolan Gorman, another rookie. Very cool. We've got a sepia, it looks like, in the back. Freddie Freeman. Matt Olson. Mike Yastrzemski. Tristan Casas, 
That's a cool one. I love shots like that where you just know that they're they're genuinely so happy in that moment. In that moment, they got a great picture. Next up, Marcus Semyon. We've got Esturi Ruiz shutter speed. There's an insert. And our sepia is horizontal. Grayson Rodriguez, auto, sepia auto out of 75. Very nice. Number two of 75. All right. Like I said, you were due. That that WBC personal break that you did was brutal. And the prices of those, since the prices went up, it was that much worse. But this is redemption right here. Very nice. Out of 75, Grayson Rodriguez. It is a sticker. But Adley there in the background. Nice battery. Very cool. Jesus, I feel like this this little break has had more hits in it than uh, a few of the other ones I've done recently. Very nice. <clears throat> All right, Sean Murphy. Another brave. Craig Biggio. Patrick Bailey. Kettle Marte. You still here, Pierce? <laughs> That's a nice one, actually. I like that dark black background. It's great contrast. That's a nice card. Jared Kellenick. Manny Machado. Spencer Strider. One year off of his rookie. Mantle Martyr, how you doing? Vlad, uh, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Frame rate, Gunnar Henderson, and that's a rookie too. Very nice. <laughs> oh, and check this out. Austin Riley, of course we've got to end the very last pack on a Brave, number 7 of 99. I believe that's the, uh, what is this called? The uh, negative. Austin Riley out of 99, negative. Very cool. Oh, you know what? One more thing. We're not, we're not done yet. We got a 420 giveaway. I'm not going to not do a giveaway. So, yeah, pick your number, man. Four, two, or zero. What are you feeling tonight? I'll be honest. The negatives are not my favorite. The negatives are not my favorite. Some of them look good based on the photography, but all in all, I don't know. I'm not really into the negatives. But I know a lot of people are. So yeah, go ahead, pick a number, man. Four two zero. Which one you want? I should have done this before the uh, black and white, but <laughs> I was too excited. Two today. All right. Two. It feels fat. It feels fat. What is it? Oh, we got Panini. We got Panini Prism and Heritage twenty twenty three. Heritage high number. So let's add those in. Let's do it. Let's start off with the prism because it's prism. It's not as exciting. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer heritage high number over prism probably. But you know what? In 2021, I bought a lot of prism because it was cheap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people are into it. A lot of people like the, the negatives. I'm not one of them. Jim Tomey. Charlie Blackmon, Joey Votto, and something here, Louisville Slugger, Teoscar Hernandez, check that out, for Toronto, it's a cool insert, not numbered, but Sluggers, Teoscar Hernandez, alright, one more, 
Oh, check that out. I thought this one felt fat. That's why I, I uh, turned it to the side here, and it looks like we got a relic. <laughs> the hits just keep coming. Let's hope for something nice. Wow. <laughs> I would not have expected that, to be honest. All right. Well, let's do it. Ildemaro Vargas. Mauricio Dubon. Corey Jolks. Tom Cosgrove. Christian Vasquez, Joe Mantiply, Travis Jankowski. We've got, oh, there it is. It's Clubhouse Collection. Detroit Tigers, Spencer Torkelson. Pretty cool. <laughs> I did not expect that. That's why I'm just laughing about that. That's so crazy because, you know. Two autos, which are not guaranteed in those boxes. So two autos, <clears throat> all of the, the parallels, everything. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, though. Congratulations. And uh, we do have a Tigers guy in, in Pierce's chat now. So there you go. Maybe you got some trade bait for him. So there we go. All right, let's go over everything real quick. This was crazy. This was crazy. This was a lot of fun. Just out of nowhere, I set this up in about 20 minutes. Just I was like, okay, let me get my stuff put away, you know, do some stuff. There it is. Detroit Tigers, Spencer Torgelson. That's our first hit. We got a short print Mookie bet. Mookie bets. <clears throat> we got a base Shohei Otani. Why not put it in a top loader? Jordan Alvarez out of 50. Very cool green. We've got Jose Canseco out of 125. Very cool. We've got the Austin Riley out of 99. Bushido, Rafael Devers. Very awesome. Like I said, I don't remember, but I, I think these are like the equivalent of like a case hit. So very cool Bushido. Ichiro out of 99. 99 of 99. One of the best looking cards of the break, I'd say, for sure. Very cool. 99 of 99. We got the Eli Jimenez autograph out of 25. Very first pack out of 25. We've got the Grayson Rodriguez out of 75. And Royce Lewis out of 10. 10 of 10. Very cool. Awesome. Hey, thank you guys. I, I can't believe so many people watched. So thank you guys for watching. PHX, big congrats to you, man. That was, a, that was a very nice break. Very nice. So thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to take one more hit. I'll tell you guys good night. See you guys soon, hopefully. And take a look. Maybe tomorrow I'll have a new breakup. So thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Take it easy.